So, baby said, I like my so, with that said, she wants me to drink this 40 out the bottle. I wanted a cup. They have pretty glass cups here, but if I have to do it, she has to do it. So, 40s by the fire. What y'all know about 40s by the fire? I like my thugs out. Only one who knows just what a thug about. Woo! Okay, guzzler. You won't believe the choices in colors and styles. Uh-uh. I like it. just like that. I don't mean I felt that way. Hey y'all, thanks for rolling with the Benzes again. And we wanted to have another story time with y'all. We were gonna do our coming out story. So if y'all came out the closet, let us know how you did it. And we're going to let you know how we decided to bust up out that closet. It's scary to tell people. It is. Like I I had people, we didn't get our painting. I know, they were close to. I have people that I knew wouldn't care and I still was too scared to tell them for a very long time. So, telling people is a relief. Yeah. So, grade school, I played basketball and softball. So I was a tomboy, but I couldn't really dress how I wanted to dress. So, luckily I wore a uniform. That kind of helped a little bit. But, usually I would just wear sweats and basketball shorts and stuff like comfortable stuff sporty stuff after high school i actually had a girlfriend in high school but we was in the closet dating and after high school i went away to college and i took all my girly shit, my girly shit, and i had my secret bag with all of my new clothes that i was i was gonna get fresh on one time when i touched down so when I got there, I gave away all my girly clothes to the, all the girls in my dorms, which I was up at that point because they was that, that that was a plus for me, giving all the girls clothes. Well, that's when I really just didn't care anymore if people knew I was gay or not. Um, one day I was, I think I I had come back from college and I called my mom and I just started crying and I'm like. My mom's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? She's thinking something's wrong. And I'm like, I'm gay. <laughs> she's like, I know. And I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, true, shit. <laughs> I ain't really a big deal. But I told her, and my mom is a very understanding person. She just, her only concern was how people were going to treat me. And she knew I was strong enough for it. So she, she supported me in that. But, uh. So I came out to my mom. Honestly, the way I felt about it was like, I don't really need to come out to people and tell people that I don't really care too much about their opinion or how they feel. So I told my mom, my best friend, and I think my auntie. I think those were the only three people that I actually was like, I'm gay. And I told them the other people, they find out, figure it out on their own. When I showed up with her, they figured that shit out. No, you don't. No. I never actually came out and said it to my dad. But telling your mom is the same thing. Okay? Yeah, so my dad knew. If y'all think people don't know, they do. Not always, though. For for studs, people know. Um, Coming out was a very huge relief. Like, I, I felt like I, I could actually live and be myself and... The only person that I did not tell for a very long time was my grandma. So my grandma's very old school. So it's very different. Like I didn't I didn't think, oh, she's not gonna love me. What I thought is that she was gonna not understand it and try to figure it out. I didn't feel like it was necessary to tell her. Like what difference did it make to tell her? Um when me and Whitney got real serious and I started to bring her around, I told my grandma. She didn't respond <laughs> very well at first. It took a while, um, but she, I guess it grew on her. She was kind of mean to Whitney at first, but then she grew on her too. It takes, she, she takes time, she gotta grow on you. <laughs> so I mean, at that point, I felt like it was important to tell my family 
and it actually brought me and my cousins like a lot closer I feel like because I could actually be me and I you know they knew what was going on in my life and I could bring Whitney around which I always brought girls around which made me think that everybody already knew they probably did but they got that confirmation and it was nice actually nobody cared everybody supports us and that's cool and like we get a lot of hate comments about it like random people why would we care what you think you ain't nobody to us especially when you're so bored that you're googling lesbian weddings to write hate comments hate about comments gays on. on like you don't even have a life and you can't even spell so we ain't gonna address you no more no. yeah my coming out story is not very exciting it took a lot for me to get to that point and I think too that when you actually find someone that you're like all right this is the person whatever it's a lot easier and you feel better about telling like there's a reason to tell that yeah. you're gay but one thing that I will say is that whenever it's right for you that's when it's right it ain't on nobody else's time you can't rush it if you're not ready to come out you just ain't ready to come out and that's fine but it's such a relief like living that secret holding that secret in is not it's not cool it's not fun well i thought that it was actually uh like a really good highlight in your coming out story is that you came like there's different times to come out to different people and so like you came out you came out for a long time to everybody but it was going to take you a little longer to build up the courage to come out to your grandma it's really important that you take the time to come out to who you want to come out to right. when you're ready. Yeah, because I told my best friend long before I told my family. Yeah. And you'll be surprised that the reactions you get are not bad. They're not always bad. And you know what? If they are, fuck them. That's how I feel. Yeah. Family or not. Like, if they don't accept you, then they don't. And that's just, that's just on them. Like... I, I can't really think of any one person that I told besides my grandma that reacted in a way that like hurt me and my grandma didn't really do anything mean no she just she just wasn't happy about it and that hurt me to have her not be happy about it but like I said people that love you they're gonna get over it and they're gonna deal with it and they might not like it but they are gonna be all right so speaking of that people waiting over it yet so my coming out was very different because she got turned out partly partly <laughs> <laughs> you could say that um but also like so for for the people in my life it was like a huge shock because i had a kid and the, my family had heard about girls here and there throughout my life but it, it had never i'd never been in a serious relationship with a woman at that point and so all of my interactions with females had been brushed off as a phase. So Ashley comes around and I didn't I didn't even really like come out. I just brought you. Like I was just out to my family at that point. Um and they still thought it was a phase so they still thought it was a phase. My mother, however, heard through the grapevine from my aunt and whoever, you know, I have a family full of loud mouths. Um, <laughs> I do. I, I can be one too. Um, that I was dating a girl. And so I have the conversation with my mother. And my mother completely freaks out, starts crying, tells me she doesn't know what I'm doing with my life. And she doesn't feel like she can trust my decisions anymore. And I'm pretty sure that that conversation ended up with me telling her <clears throat> that and hanging up on her. And I didn't talk to her for a little while until she could gather herself together. Um, she ended up kind of getting over it or trying to get over it because she's my mom and she wants to be in my life. I still don't know that she's accepts it, accepts it or likes it or, or she doesn't like it. I can tell she doesn't like it. I don't, still don't know that she accepts it, but she really has done a good job at not trying to make me feel alienated so that her and I can continue our relationship with each other. My father, on the other hand, he actually reacted like in this insanely positive way at first at first so i had told ash about my dad like because he's a pastor a pentecostal preacher That's so um i told ash he was going to be like just completely irrational and he wasn't at first so 
this is how I came out to my dad. My dad came out for my graduation, and Ashley also came to my graduation, but she didn't sit with my family because she didn't want the attention to come off of my graduation and into me being gay, and then turn into a whole negative experience for me. And so she kind of like sat off in the back or whatever, but she had this beautiful like pageant-like bouquet of flowers. They were absolutely beautiful. So I walk off the stage and I walk past Ashley and she gives them to me. Well, she, you know, a couple rolls down, I have to walk past my dad. So I do walk past my dad and he waits until, you know, we're on our way out the door that, that evening and is like, who's that girl that gave you those flowers? Is she sweet on you? And I said, yes. And so then we, uh, you know, Did me you and my dad. Did you say yes? Yeah, I said yes. I thought you said no at first. I think I said yes. I don't know, honestly. I think I said yes, though. Um, so then me and my whole family go to dinner. No one says anything. A couple days go by. We go and have um, dinner at my aunt's house, my dad's sister who lives out here. And on our way out, he decides to ask me, what's up with that girl? Because I think he'd been asking around and trying to figure out, like, is was it a thing or not? And found out it was. And so I called Ashley. It was like 11 o'clock at night. And I called her and was like, you got to get out of the bed. You have to come meet my dad. He's leaving town tomorrow and he wants to meet you. So she comes, drives out. I think we meet at like a Denny's or something. We just have some coffee or something like that. And he's having a conversation with us and he's acting like, um, I think one of the phrases he used was, you know, you gotta let people live their own lives. I was shocked at how understanding he was being about the whole thing. But, and then like even throughout like the years as her and I were dating and even when we got engaged, like he played it really cool and he never said anything offensive or never like tried to make me feel any kind of way. And then all of that changed when we had set a wedding date. We set a wedding date. I called him to let him know because he lived in New Jersey and I knew that he needed time to get his ticket and stuff. So I, he was like one of the first people I told the date to, right? After the date, like I just wasn't hearing from my dad anymore and I was calling him and he wasn't picking up. Remember and when I was talking to him, he was super short and I was telling you like he's being weird. Yeah. I told him about the day for the wedding. He started getting weird and then I just quit reaching out at a certain point because I knew that he was going to feel some type of way about it. So, so you basically counted him out. I counted him out. I didn't even invite him to the wedding because I knew how he felt about it. And you accepted it. And I did. I accepted you, it. You and understood. I was actually okay with that when I had the opportunity to... Um, like basically be proactive about it and not invite him and that way I could never be mad at him if I don't invite you and you don't show up and I have learned how to play that game with my parents after my whole life and so after your whole life baby are you dead? <laughs> Shut up. Anyway we get closer to the wedding I think four days before the wedding and he texted me and said he had to work and then I had like a little slick ass comment and then he said his heart wouldn't let him do it and he would continue to pray for me so that's been it. That's it. As far as me and my dad go. Um, and all y'all haters that's watching, y'all can pray for us too. Pray for us. The thing about we it, I think, it. like, with me, is, like, I'm I'm so happy that I, I, I just, I can't accept that God is upset with me being so happy. Like, I can't accept that. And another thing with me and, like, the whole religious thing is that, so, God loves us more than we love our children. Well, I love my child so much that I wouldn't care who he brought home. So then if, if God doesn't love me how I love my child, there's a flaw in the whole book, which it's not, right? So therefore, me and God are cool. And I feel like we, we pray all the time. And I feel like that we're living a very blessed life. We're living a very happy life. And we still have a relationship with God. So I'm not really concerned at, at the, the Bible thumping and like people telling us that God created Adam and Eve. So after the experience with my dad and him getting all weird about the wedding, I actually made a huge misjudgment on some of my family that are LDS. So LDS Mormons are arguably as strict as Pentecostal Christians. They have a very specific rules and guidelines that they follow. And so I counted out some of my family members because I thought if my dad can't show up, then they're not going to show up. And then a um, couple months before the wedding, my grandma's like, you know, your uncle is wondering where his invitation is at. So I sent the invitation. He should, they showed up. That side of my family showed up. Um, they, and they kicked it. And they kicked it. And they were great. And that was, that was a huge thing for me because I had started to feel 
like all religious people were going to be like my dad and that was like a huge reminder that like no like People aren't, like, if you really are solid with your relationship with God, you're not worried that you're going to go to hell because you're showing up to your family member's thing to support your family member. That's true, but at the same time, with that being said, like, I have older uncles, great uncles, mm -hmm. that they love us, they pray for us at yeah. Thanksgiving, they bless us, mm -hmm. but they did not feel that that was something they should attend, and they didn't. Yeah. But I can respect you if you're up front with your I yes. respect you. So, like, some of my some of my older relatives didn't show up. But they let me know that they weren't going to show up. And so, that's fine. And we didn't want anyone at our wedding that wasn't truly accepting like, of, of, for of it. Like, the vibe in our wedding was, like, dope. So dope and so fun. When you get to your wedding is when you really find out who loves how you. people feel about your yeah. relationship. You got to be happy and like you can't you can't let other people's opinions and how other people are going to feel about you. Yeah, they don't matter. Determine doing them. how happy you're going to be. They're still doing them. On some real shit. We support you. If you need help, if you got questions or whatever like Instagram. feel free to dm us our instagram is the ben's family and we we love all y'all thank you and so we much. love all y'all and thank you so much for watching it so make sure you subscribe because we've got videos coming like at least every other day so make sure you're subscribed to our channel hit the notifications so you don't miss out um follow us on social media make sure you follow us on all of our social media accounts and keep rolling with us ben's is y'all right. love you Okay, that's going to be easy.